12 acres of privacy plus a private island on Cape Cod? Unbelievable. Hey, I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of Griffin Realty Group, and I am thrilled to present to you 1825 South County Road. This spectacular property is more like a piece of art. I think the first thing that struck me when I came to list this was just this courtyard. Immediately, you're struck by the level of detail. The builder, Rogers and Marnie, they've been in business since 1968. They've made a few distinctions over the years on how to build luxury Cape Cod property. So you'll notice the beautiful shingle style, the beautiful flow between the guest suite into the main property. Unbelievable stonework. I mean, all these pavers perfectly laid, cobblestone liner, fieldstone riser, just really spectacularly landscaped. I felt like I was in the Boston Garden with all the specimen trees on this property. So come on, I'll show you around and you'll see why this is really so unique. If you're imagining yourself entertaining on Cape Cod, and you can see a formal presentation that still has that Cape Cod feeling, it's because the space is well apportioned. Nothing's too wide or too grandiose. It has a nice cozy Cape Cod feeling to it. And the beautifully appointed uh, wide oak floors are stained almost like a sandy color that just makes it feel like Cape Cod. Not too formal, but also formal enough to feel like you could really have a, a nice formal dining party here. Invite your friends and be proud of what? This picture of Cape Cod. That's not a, a, a painting. That's Cape Cod at its finest, right out the window. A beautiful view of the mouth of the Marston's Mills River that leads eventually out to North Bay. This place is spectacular. And as you look out the grounds, you see the affinity pool, and then you can see the, the pergola that has now housed this mature wisteria bush. I mean, it is just to die for. And of course, everybody on Cape Cod wants that breeze. Even as we're recording this here, you can feel the breeze coming right off of the water in here. And it is just absolutely wonderful to be sitting on a Cape Cod porch, two story high, a big fan that you don't even need on a day like this. This is so perfect for after the beach, really to enjoy that lifestyle. And again, privacy, quiet, peace. It's beautiful here, right? So when we come back in here, I think, the most important thing to point out here is just the choice of materials. People just don't make these material choices. You feel this? This is a solid piece of stone, beautiful field stone, a nice big hardly used fireplace um, with the brick liner. Oh, well, obviously the brick liner, right? So. I, I get excited when I talk about properties like this because they really are so unique because you can imagine people coming in here and entertaining. Somebody comes down to the formal area here. But I think what's most important about this house is the way that it lives. So when you really think about the way that somebody lives, you want that first floor living, that age in place feel. And I think that's what makes this first ensuite uh, unique because it is, even though there are two master bedrooms in this house, this first floor one makes it so that you don't ever have to do stairs and you can leave that for the extended family. So first let's go take a peek at the bedroom over here because this serves as the first master on the first floor closet. Good size room too. I mean this is really nice. But what also makes it nice is the designer thought about seeing the water from every single room and didn't skimp. So we have this beautiful little balcony out here, a little Romeo Juliet balcony out there that overlooks the river again. I mean, just spectacular. Always sunny out there because we have beautiful southeast to west exposure right out the back door. So as that sun sets, it's setting straight across the water. So as you sit here in your first floor master suite, uh, you just feel like you're part of the action out there. And again, nice private bath in here. Uh, no need to go out and share it with anybody else. So you can shut it down and really close this down. But what's unique about this section too is the work from home opportunity. 
So if you didn't want to use it as a master, we almost have a double office um, here because this is really the formal office, which is great. So the owner talked about during COVID sitting right here, looking at the ocean, running his entire company from here. Really beautiful mahogany office, nice space, beautiful size, right through the screen porch that we showed you. Open those windows right there and that breeze comes right up that river, right in here while you're running your business right from home. One of the most important features of any property is the flow. How does the house actually live? And I think what makes this place unique is the formal part of the house flows seamlessly into the working part of the house. So we have a step down formal living room here, which is really nice size. I mean, so if you're entertaining and you wanted people to come through the main area into the formal part, see this beautiful house, they could also flow out here. I'll step out here for a second and I'll show you again, just, I mean, a fantastic bluestone, thick, I mean, two inch thick bluestone, just beautiful. But everything has a view. We're watching a beautiful boat go off in the distance over there. If you wanted to step out here and have cocktail hour, you can just see how this property flows from an entertainment standpoint. But that's not how we all live on a day-to-day -day basis. So we have to make sure that everything else is working for us in that more casual time, especially on Cape Cod. So as we walk back through the house here, what you'll see is a smart division Here's the butler's pantry door right into the more casual part of the house. So if we want to be able to flow it right through there into this section here, we're suddenly in the kitchen. And so you can see as I move around here, nice big pantry doors here, and nobody is ever outside of the action. So if you are preparing the food and you're standing here, you could still have these windows open. You can still be part of what's happening in a more casual way. Again, wonderful windows, by the way. There's so much glass here and so much privacy that uh, it just brings all that natural part of this 12 acres inside and plenty of preparation space with these beautiful countertops, all this Thermador appliance. I love these, by the way. I'm a cook, these five-star burners. You can't beat that gas cooking right there. Sub-Zero refrigerator, um, your, the rest of your appliances are here. I mean, this is just really a worker's kitchen, but if you have kids or just eating casually, you're sitting down, you prep your food, you're looking out the window, and you have this beautiful view, and it's just a nice space to be in. Uh, again, big family eating here, so if you didn't want to use the formal dining room, plenty of room right here. But I think, I know this is crazy to say this, but this was one of my favorite spots in the whole house. Even though we have all of this gorgeous outdoor living, there's something that just smacks of family right here. The ability to come inside of a house that has and offers this much square footage and feel cozy. I mean, look at this gorgeous field stone fireplace. Yet another one in this house. Really, really well done. Uh, and it's just cozy sitting here on this big L couch, looking out over the koi pond with all these specimen trees out here. There's just something so zen and peaceful about this. It really puts a check mark on that flow. So now that we've seen this family part of the house, this cozy part, I wanna show you how convenient it is as well. Right off of this room, we have the back door with the laundry, the slop sink, we have the slate flooring, all the closets. So very easy to come into the mud room here with a half bath right here and then flow upstairs. So if you have younger children or you want your bedroom on the second floor, there's a magnificent master suite up there as well. So you flow nicely right off of that um, informal area up to the upstairs, which really offers a lot of space, but openness too. So when you hit the landing here, I think again, just so well done, you can actually see easily the top of the river right through and over these beams. I mean, it's like a painting everywhere you stand in this house. If I were to come over here, you could see right off the upper deck here is the master suite. This is the true master suite. I think that's what's great about it. But if you really want to have a grandiose master suite, this is your room here. Private Juliet balcony right off the side there overlooking the water. 
a, a, a massive floor to ceiling, you know, story and a half or so. Here really just opens up nicely. Nice big square windows that bring again all that natural part of the lot in here and plenty of room for however you wanted to really put this place together. I mean, they have couches, chairs. This is a little oasis upstairs in this house where you can get away from everybody. And over there we would have all of our private bath and master walk-in. So really a wonderful space here. But let's see the rest of the upstairs here too. If you have young children, one of the fears is being separated from them. So this house offers you the ability to have them right next door. Well, first of all, you could even have a nursery in here. You can see it's set up as a nursery or just a nice playroom, desk room for the kids. Again, the deck wraps around here between there and the main house. There's a ship's ladder. So we have the fun Cape Cod style ship ladder going upstairs to a little getaway up there. So the kids can have some fun in this house up here too. And then right across the hallway, so you have some privacy from the master suite over there, we have these two bedrooms that are children bedrooms, which are great, right? So you have uh, the kids bedroom here. <laughs> Everybody gets a view, by the way, even the kids, I know. Maybe they don't deserve it, but here it is. They get it, right? So wonderful. And a private bath, too, so that there's no running back and forth to bathrooms. We have a private Jack and Jill t style here with a clawfoot tub, toilet here, sliding barn door here, and the other bedroom right off of that with, again, beautiful views out over the, the screened porch. Same view there, too. So really perfect, perfectly laid out upstairs, not too much, just enough for the family. The greatest part about this house is its vertical living. So you can really get away from each other and especially down here in this unbelievable entertainment driven finished lower level. So as we walk through here again, this, they just did not spare any expense, beautiful slate floors. And so thinking about the kids and people escaping down here, there's even a little pull-out bed for the kids, a, a, a little playroom in here. And that leads, again, we have a nice big fat pool table in the middle of this room. We have an exercise room here. So if somebody wants to step into the exercise room, it has all of its um, gym matting flooring on the bottom. And then it opens up to this entertainment place. I mean, this is really the casual entertainment, which is great. Nice foosball table here. Put some money down there and get your game going. Right over to your wet bar over here, complete with um, a, a refrigerator, a couple of stools. And again, because the pool is right off of this area here too, to have the bathroom and to have all the slate flooring, this is where you want the traffic flowing. You don't want it upstairs in your formal room. You want it all down here. So this is well thought out where when you're using the pool or living that outdoor lifestyle, you can come right in here. And then again, they, they spare no comfort in this house. This is the third Fieldstone fireplace. So every section of the house where there's significant living from the cozy family room to the formal entertainment to the casual entertainment, you can have that fire going and really just cozy up around here so you're totally separated from upstairs. And it allows you to flow nicely right out into the area that's right off of the pool and your outdoor living is just absolutely as good as it gets on Cape Cod. When you're entertaining on Cape Cod, which happens a lot because everybody wants to visit you, or you have extended family, but you want some separation and you want that privacy, this is just a fantastic addition in this property. So here, as part of the garage system, they've actually incorporated a full-blown kitchen and this leads over to these, no, we're finally finished by the way, the R8 does not come with the deal, okay? Unless the price is right, then maybe I can get the owner to consider it. But right off of the garage into the kitchen and the other two car garage, but up here we have the apartment. So really again, well done. All the materials are really fine wood materials with a beaded strip. Um, this is a little bit more simple finish up here, made for durability, but two bedrooms. So if you really are entertaining and somebody wants to bring their family, you have these two bedrooms that are spacious, really nice size. You can see, especially this one, multiple beds in here. So if you have older kids 
people you don't want in the main house and they don't want to be in the main house, they're over here with their friends and they're separate and it's completely contained. So a wonderful addition to already a pristine property, a separate suite with two bedrooms. Hey, it's been my absolute privilege to show you this beautiful property here at 1825 South County Road. But of course, it's far too much to explain in a simple walk and talk video. So we invite you to contact us for a private showing. Of course, if you're working with an agent, contact them. We'd be happy to coordinate because we would love you to see this beautiful, one of a kind property. In fact, we think it's more like buying a piece of art. We hope to show it to you soon.